number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to him feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. And I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. Alexander Volkanovsky. He certainly has cleaned out a lot of this division, but there are still guys who are coming to take what is his. How do you think he proceeds with this particular challenge here tonight? I mean, just being himself, he's as good as they come. The guy has tremendous striking. He's at great wrestling. He was thought to be a wrestler when he got here. We have seen him be a master of game planning. We have seen him be a master of strategy. A guy that fights for game plan, the fight IQ through the roof. And tonight, you're going to experience one of the smartest, most technically gifted fighters you have ever seen. Let's see if that's enough, though, because the challenge is very big tonight as he steps into the octagon. And he does so having four times gone the full 25 minutes in the UFC. Volkanovski very much has a championship style, and he has got another title fight on his hands tonight. And Johnny, don't get tired. I mean, he yeah, goes, yeah. he goes the distance. It seems like he's just running in the park, taking a night jog on the weekend. Fighting the best fighters in the world. And had he stayed in rugby league, probably would have been an absolute beast there too. Savage. Our tale of the day for this featherweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the chosen one. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky, at one point in rugby league, he weighed 214 pounds. This is big. That's big. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Tags him with the jab on the counter. They got tricked. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice jab. was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Double leg takedown is true. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. This is a terrible position. 
<sighs> Nicely done. Making all these shots count. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Posturing up now. Oh, another ground strike gets through. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, big shots raining down. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volkanovski. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Oh, huge ground strikes from Volkanovski. What a fight so far. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Champ Okanovsky continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Right hook to the head block. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Stay sharp. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big punch lands through the middle. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Big double leg, level change. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent as well. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Good ground and pound here. One on one. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. transition. He's got to start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up and you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volker. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground.
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Good uh, run. Stop. That's what I'm talking about right there. He can't handle your striking. Just keep moving to your left. Just stay away from his power and just keep running. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. Ready to fight. Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. by him now. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish his position. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Huge kick to the leg. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. He's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, shoot! Oh, again. Three minutes to go in round three. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Good jab there by the oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets back to his feet. He has opened up the cut. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. I need you to move. Scramble. Oh, Volkanovski's able to transition back to side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top line, Volker. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to swell. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bono. 
Well, just when you thought Alexander Volkanovsky couldn't present a better version, I submit to you this performance, Volkanovsky by TKO here tonight. Many want to point to the third Max Holloway fight as his greatest night. 